Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Crypto Ginger here. Just wanted to take a very quick moment and go over some information I found very interesting when it comes to connecting more dots and of course linking more companies together with uh, Ripple and R3. And I wanted to give a huge shout out to XRP Nuts here on Twitter because this is just yet another person in the XRP community that really goes out of their way to find a lot of this information regarding Ripple and again connecting dots and linking this information to a lot of people out there just so that everybody can be updated and on the same page uh, as often as possible. Now, this information really pertains to HSBC, and of course, as you can see here, this is just a little snapshot of the article talking about how HSBC adopts blockchain for Forex trade. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually use a link to the actual site so we can actually go over that a little bit better here. But uh, again, this particular person most certainly give them a follow. They definitely connect quite a bit of dots. So uh, going right into the article, so here in Coindesk, you can see it talks a little bit further about HSBC in that it settled roughly around $250 billion in trades with the DLT or the Distributed Ledger Tech. And of course, a little bit further in the article it does state that the bank said in a press release that it settled 3 million foreign exchange transactions and made a further 150,000 payments using the HSBC Effects Everywhere platform. The company said it has been using this platform for the last year to orchestrate payments across HSBC internal balance sheets. And of course, you can see that uh, it is using this thing called the FX Everywhere platform. And I believe that there might be a small bit of a connection here when it comes to that platform and R3. We'll get into that here in just a second. Uh, part of the link that I found very interesting about that, it says that the bank did not specify if the FX Everywhere was developed completely in-house or built on an open source protocol. So again, it is quite possible it might be linked to R3. Like I said, I'll get into that in just a second here. One of the things I wanted to kind of end on with this article it says, in a statement, Richard Bibby, HSBC's intern global head of FX and commodities, noted that the bank and its clients conduct thousands of foreign exchange transactions, which can range across different balance sheets and countries. The DLT platform makes these internal flows more efficient, he said, and adding, Following successful implementation inside the bank, we are now exploring how technology could help multinational clients who also have multiple treasury centers and cross-border supply chains better manage foreign exchange flows within their organization. Really, it looks to be another type of platform here that's going to allow for a significant amount of companies on a multinational level there uh, onboarding themselves to possibly start using this as a mean for settling payments and transactions through uh, HSBC. And of course, this right here is where I feel like it could possibly be linked to R3. So, of course, if we go to r3.com, we can easily see here that there's a list of different types of members that are part of uh, R3 here. And, of course, as you can see, HSBC is one of those. And something else here when it comes to connecting this right here with uh, Ripple and, of course, XRP. This right here is just another page from r3.com, as you can see here. Uh, this is actually something from the beginning of December 2018, talking about how R3 launches Universal Settler application to facilitate global payments on Corda, which is going to be using XRP as the first settlement mechanism. And this right here was related to the Corda settler. Why I bring this up right here is because this is a universal settler application, which means really anyone on a global scale can actually take advantage of the Corda settler, which will actually allow payment settlements to go through XRP because, again, XRP is going to be one of the first settlement mechanisms a part of the Corda settler. So we have our three using Corda Settler, which is going to use XRP right now as the first settlement solution. And of course, we still have R3 connected directly to HSBC right here on R3.com. So they are part of the members list there. And of course, here I find it very interesting. Now, this is just another article from Coindesk here talking about HSBC. And of course, this is something that's dated around January 2017. So you know it's a lot older, but the information is still very important because we have here uh, a member of Ripple actually going to HSBC to be part of the board member there. And of course, that member happens to be Chris Larson, who happens to be a former CEO of Ripple. Now, very interesting enough, looking a little bit further here, as you can see, this right here is coming from Bluebird.com talking about the company overview of HSBC holding and looking at the board members list here if you scroll all the way down here you can easily see that there's Christian Larson part of Ripple Labs boom and of course right there so 
And interesting enough, this right here is something that is still dated very recently, January 15th. So this is absolutely current. We do know that Chris Larson is still part of HSBC. So we know that there's a connection there being made with that big bank and of course Ripple and now R3 as well. So with that in mind, one last thing I found very interesting. So looking on ripple.com, you can see the HSBC executive and SWIFT board member joins Ripple to support continued global growth. And who does that board member happen to be? Well, it's Marcus Treacher. Now we've definitely heard his name in 2018. Of course, he's been a prominent name when it comes to speaking on behalf of Ripple. As you can see here, he used to be HSBC's global head of payments innovation, and now he is Ripple's global head of strategic accounts. So we have someone from Ripple going and being a part of HSBC, and now we see someone from HSBC coming and being a part of Ripple. So we have this really interconnected network here just with the members alone. And as you can see, HSBC is a member of the R3 member list. And we also have Chris Larson, again, part of the board member of HSBC. The, the connections are there. And if this platform that HSBC has designed happens to be something that runs on, for example, Corda, and they want to use Corda Settler to settle their payments, well, we know that that's going to be using XRP. That might sound like a stretch just simply because we have some of that information that has not been provided to the public yet, but you can see that this actually gives HSBC the opportunity to connect directly through R3's Corda Settler to settle any of their payments directly with the XRP coin. And of course, they also have the opportunity to connect directly to Ripple Network to actually get themselves onboarded with other banks and financial institutions as well. Really, there's a lot of opportunity here when it comes to HSBC and Ripple and R3. And I would imagine that in the very near future, we're gonna hear quite a bit more when it comes to announcements for this connection being made. And I would be hopeful that we're gonna hear something about their platform quite possibly using different types of digital assets, but more importantly, XRP. So hopefully we'll start finding a little bit more information about this right here in the upcoming future. Uh, I will definitely make sure to alert as many people as possible. And again, follow me on Twitter and follow XRP Nuts. Again, he's just simply another person that's out there. That, and of course, there's still quite a bit of people out there that I would highly suggest following on a regular basis. But outside of that, if you're new to the channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. Of course, if you're still looking to secure cryptocurrencies, make sure to get that Ledger Nano S with the link in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice night.